wanted to do a concert with Inuit throat singing since I first heard Inuit throat singers in 1981. Throat singers sound like they have a string in their body <laughs> and they sound like they're somehow finding a way to bow that string. It, it seems so um, earthy. <laughs> so much a part of nature. I've had the experience with one other person before musically, like connecting like this, but never with four others. So I want to hear what you guys have for your score. For we don't have anything. Don't have any. I was hoping that we would stay somewhat abstract okay. on this. Okay. To me, this is the dramatic structure of the piece. I had this confidence that whatever we came up with was going to be something really wonderful, but I had not the slightest idea how we were going to get there. It's like if I start with the... All of a sudden, the idea of colors just popped into my mind. So basically, there's eight of these. Okay. And when we figure out the order, we can tape them together. When David came out with those colors, I felt an opening in my body or something. Because I knew it just made sense. I like the idea of the blue beside the black for some reason. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was mm, hoping for, yeah. too. Yeah. We could just start a discussion about music from colors. Where do you want to put red? Red should be closer to the end, because that's when I want to freak out, kind of. Okay. And I think that was the great first approach to kind of go through this piece, because there wasn't notes for Tanya to get freaked out about, and there wasn't nothing <laughs> for us to get freaked out about. So, I mean, to me, what we should do is just figure out how each of these would sound. And then how to link it. Everybody just jumped in. I mean, I knew there'd be total involvement with Kronos. I wasn't sure about Tanya because we've never worked together before. It was wonderful how it just kind of took on a life of its own and I could just kind of step back and let everybody just kind of paint. <laughs> They're making it up as they go along, which is completely new for them and I am working with structure, which is completely new for me, so our balance is taking care of itself really nicely. So we're in brown, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been rehearsing in the morning, and then we have a rehearsal tonight, but now in the afternoon, we had the opportunity to go for sort of dog sled riding, and it was just phenomenal. <laughs> Tanya is directly, musically, in touch with something that is almost a ghost. And that, to me, it's, it's something that's so special and so much a part of the earth and the land and the environment. This is, to me, is more like the crunching of the, of the snow. snow. We started exploring some of the northern sounds, and it was nice because I, I got to do one of the bird sounds. Yeah. Okay. That was perfect. The tradition she comes from is basically that the Inuit singers are very close to each other when they're, they're singing. So that brought about this idea of starting the piece by singing into the cello. Because the cello is so resonant anyway that, that it, it would almost seem like it was singing back to her. <laughs> It's always been my dream to interpret my home through musicians. So I guess that's what's really happening, is like, it's my dream coming true. Are you partial to the lower noises or the higher? Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> Everybody's so open to everyone else's ideas. You jump in with the deeper part when I'm not doing it. So it's, so it's like oh, opposite. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs>
I got to put my two cents on what I thought the score would be. I've never been able to play an instrument. I, I, I only have my throat. So to hear some of my ideas coming through an instrument, it's exhilarating. Oh, that's fun! Her language is growing and developing and, and changing all the time. Every step you take has a different sound quality to it. Uh -huh. I've always had a, a sense of her being very instinctive. And, and she responds to things totally directly and honestly. I, I just love musical people that are like that. I keep having this feeling like we're walking towards the edge and if we had enough time together, we could just jump up, like go farther and farther into it. That sense of playfulness of creating games and images. Yours is so big. For me, it's never been as strikingly portrayed in our whole career as it has been in the last several days. I'm going to learn how to make better music because of it. Like I can feel it opening new places when it comes to structure and how you can maintain your passion while having structure, which I didn't believe in much before. Of course, we ended with red. Tanya has helped us with the vocabulary of what I call, quote unquote, a freak out. And so our very last color is going to be everybody just freaking out and ending it with a bang. The pieces. It's, it's there. It's there now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. This is cool. Should we try it?